Do you ever wonder why the number is uh, six? You know, 60 Ks? I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's satanic. Look, six, six, six. That's exactly why. Hi, it appears that Hailman, a paranoid religious conspiracist, is back again. I tackled him a little over two years ago and I thought this is a perfect time to re-upload that video so that all the new subscribers can enjoy. Make sure you watch to the end to catch the fabulous song by Dave Goldenberg who gave permission for it to be shown on my channel. Take care and enjoy. So would you believe that the latest Apple AirPods Pro commercial is evil and involves demonic possession and lots of horrible things like that? Come on then, Hailman. I suggest you tell us about it. Roll VT. You look happy. What's this, some sort of mug shot from when you were arrested for something? That's better. So, you're gonna show us what you got then? And cheer up. I notice you're nodding your head to the music. Do you like it then, this demonic music? Okay, first you notice the size of the... Of her what? The antennas on the Apple Air Plugs. I like to call them Air Plugs instead of AirPods. I don't care what you call them. Seeing as they are a wireless tracking device on no, they're not. How can they be a wireless tracking device? They haven't got GPS in them or anything. They're just a little Wi-Fi connection to your iPhone or whatever. On your head with the ability to potentially triangulate your nostrils and mouth. Why the hell would anyone want to know the location of your nostrils and mouth? You're weird. Okay, so essentially what you just saw there was a scene of demonic possession. I must have missed that. With a hint uh, of... Garlic and chives? Child, uh, satanic, ritualistic sacrifice. Are you sure? Uh, involving the removal of a child's face. Oh, you're kidding me. I did not see any of that. And what you just saw there was a symbolization of Shiva. The Are you sure again? I just thought it was a cool looking dance step. Demonic uh, deity or God. Hold on a second. Demonic deity or God. Shiva is one of three main gods in Hinduism. Shiva is causeless auspiciousness, an embodiment of ultimate space of enlightenment. He assumed human form to guide humans in the past and thus is known as Adaguru, the first guru. His space of enlightenment is what all spiritual seekers aspire for. Now I know that you might not believe in Shiva. I know that that's not a God that you accept, but that doesn't make Shiva demonic. Whatever Shiva is or is not, whatever evidence there is for or against Shiva existing is about exactly the same as there is for your God. Which can be seen here. Again, more demonic zombie-like possession. Are we, look, are we actually watching the same video? Okay. 
here you see the sexualization of uh, of women with the tongue hanging out of the mouth. as well as a reference to, again, the um, satanic ritualistic sacrifice of removing the face of a child. Uh, I have never heard of that before. That's twice you're saying it's talking about re removal of children's faces. Where did that come from then? They've got a page for people like you in the Reader's Digest. Uh, via, and you can see her pulling the scalp. <laughs> This is very dark stuff. Oh yeah, very dark. Sorry. I guess what you kind of saw there was the representation of the innocence of a child in a, a fantasy illusion um, kind of world. What do you think, Taggart? Use your tongue prettier than a twenty-dollar whore. Being sucked into this. Now, why is that scene important? Was there a nip slip? I didn't see that where she was shaking and convulsing. Let's have another look at it. Oh yeah. Okay, what this represents is essentially seizures. There was no nip slip. And why does that represent seizures? Seeing as everybody who's got the virus right now. You had to bring COVID into it, did you? It's just an advert for Apple AirPods. I was presenting with uh, uh, end stage encephalitis, in other words, seizures. Do you really think Apple would be advertising their latest version of their AirPod Pro by uh, symbolizing seizures of people dying? What's that gonna do for sales? from oxygen deprivation. I think you've suffered oxygen deprivation. And there you can see her heart beating out as though it's beating out of her chest or as though something is attacking her lungs. I saw her going, oh, going like this. It's, it's deep, it's, Maybe it's love, maybe it's it's just excitement, but it's nothing to do with heart and lungs being attacked. And there she is gasping for air. No, she isn't. There she is saying, hold on, and then thanks, because she's managed to catch the bloody bus. and getting on the bus on her way back home. Heaven. You are a total chuff nugget, aren't you? Hailman, you paranoid delusionist. All it is is an advert for Apple Pro AirPods with active noise cancellation for immersive sound, transparency mode to interact with the world around you. So when she was switching them on or off, she was either being immersed deeply in her music and her dance, or she was interacting with everyday life and what was going on around. That's it. You are a paranoid idiot. Now, maintaining the musical theme and to see us out, I'm very pleased to be able to show you a song by Dave Goldenberg, who's given permission for this video to be shown on the channel. Have a look at his channel. Check it out. I'll put the link up there. Thanks, Dave. Take it away and stay sensible. My name is Jack Colby. 
And here is my saga about a young woman named Bree. I met her one night at the craft singles bar. She seemed pretty cultured to me. She said, nice to meet you here in Monterey, Jack. I've got a cottage near here. And so we climbed into her Chevrolet and picked up a case of cold beer. Praise Jesus, let the baby bell ring. Nothing is greater, they say. Life is a camembert, oh friend. Praise Jesus, we're on our way. She said, Jack, I'm awfully fond of you. By then she'd shed her clothes off. That limber girl melted right into my arms. But still I remained semi-soft. So she grilled me and spoke to me sharply. You're no good a lover at all. I am intolerant of your performance. Ricotta, get out of here now. Praise Jesus, let the baby bell ring. Nothing is greater, they say. Life is a camembert, oh friend. Praise Jesus, we're on our way. Fadad brought us together But now I'm as blue as can be Because of the awful events that occurred What a monster she turned out to be Now I'm being sincere when I tell you I cured for her more than you'll know my life had been butter together with her Than ever it would prove alone Praise Jesus, let the baby bell ring Nothing is greater, they say Life is a camembert, oh friend Praise Jesus, we're on our way Velveeta about had enough of this. I mean, cheese whiz. How long can we string this along? Praise cheeses, we're on our way.